the motto of my life is challenge accepted. Nigerians are really happy people. We are known to make any gathering, it's two or three people, we can turn any gathering into a, a party. Nigerians speak in a very, very loud way and we are very confident and sometimes can be very cocky. Uh, a Nigerian guy also is a little bit of a flirt, so you should, not, you should get used to this. Nigerians have a very funny way of trying to call people. It's very loud, can be very rude if you're not used to it. It goes like this, hey, or Nigerians love to drink. We are the ones who drink the most after Eastern Europeans. Some signs from Nigeria. Um, if you want to talk about something big, it's done this way. Your head is this big. And Nigerians exaggerate a lot. I mean, if you say someone's head is this big, then... We don't say hi or hello, it's, it's not common. We, we would say how far, which comes from Pidgin English, which is the second most spoken English sort of language in my country. Everybody speaks Pidgin English. So we say how far or within day. And the usual reply to this is I day or I just day. What I find funny about internationals, one of them is the food, how different it is from my country and how something I can regard as tasteless is, this is found as tasty. What else is funny about foreigners to me is um, the way they dance. <laughs> because Africans love to dance and we find it very interesting to watch other countries or other nationals dance. It's easy to solve every problem if you're a little bit more caring about the next person to you. So be selfless, have more dialogue. If you don't know something, you ask. If you don't like someone, you say. If you like someone, you say. It's, it's very simple rules of life. Be as straightforward as possible and don't assume. Okay, that's it for, for me from Bonn in Germany. It's Dr. Lawal for CNN. Good night and God bless. Follow me!